These are contact tracing apps, just one component of the digital tools Singapore deployed to manage the pandemic. How cities used technology to manage the COVID-19 outbreak is one of the criteria in the Smart City Index for 2020, which Singapore topped for a second year running. The team behind the index surveyed people in 109 cities. They found those with better technology were able to manage the pandemic better. A smart city is something that leverages technology seamlessly, offering efficient services to citizens that improves the quality of their lives. That's the most basic definition. It is very much centered uh, or human-centric, centered on people. And it's not just about the technology. The technology is just the enabler. Cities are home to about half the world's population. By 2050, 68% of the world's population is expected to live in cities. The United Nations estimates that worldwide, over 2 billion new urban residents will be added in the next three decades. And almost 90% of this growth will be in Asia and Africa. City governments in Asia need to be able to manage this because you will have more people, they need more utilities like electricity and water, they have more traffic congestion, more trash to deal with, and they need other facilities like affordable housing. In one survey of city leaders, 65% thought smart city programs would be crucial for the post-pandemic future. The market size of the smart city industry in Asia is set to double from over 400 billion US dollars in 2020 to 820 billion by 2025. And of this 800 billion US dollars, about 320 billion dollars will be contributed by China, which is going to take the lead. So you find that because of the challenges of rapid urbanization and the pressure on urban infrastructure, many Asian city governments are prepared to spend money on building smart cities. Of course, it's like city technology itself. And also more importantly is an operation structure that be put in place, right? To support um, these, uh, um, these smart city daily operations and to improve it on a daily basis. According to one survey, the largest investments cities are making are in cloud, mobile, and the internet of things. Huawei has smart city projects in 700 cities and 40 countries around the world. Data platforms function as the city's digital brain. The key part of the smart city is really utilize the ICT technology, which includes the um, not only connectivity, um, but also computing, AI, cloud, and more importantly, is the industrial application, which is the, really the use cases that the smart city uh, that need to provide to, this, to the citizens and to the community. That includes all type of use cases, uh, such as uh, you know, related to utilities or transportation, and also public safety. On top of improving residents' quality of life, smart cities can also help save costs in the long term. It's estimated that 75 smart cities alone can already produce global cost savings of 5 trillion US dollars per year. But the payoffs are not just financial. By implementing a smart city infrastructure in place, you actually also uplift the, uh, the whole um, management uh, and the digital uh, economy for, for the whole society. That will further boost the economies and also um, you know, uh, improve the different kind of uh, industries uh, to a uh, faster track of their digital transformation journey. So that will uh, bring further significant benefits in terms of from the uh, government or state perspective. Globally, Singapore is the current top smart city investor, followed by Tokyo, New York and London. But there are many challenges ahead. One example is built environment. Our construction sector in Singapore uh, has a long way to go in terms of digitizing and using better technology solutions for efficient delivery in the country. So that could be the first one. We also 
as a society as we age we need more uh, smart healthcare solutions so remote monitoring remote telemedicine are some of the aspects that we are still developing and this means more opportunities for investors and businesses so the the good news about smart city is uh, once you implement technology at the city wide level you know it actually helps all the businesses uh, by easing the process of approvals and clearances the government services becomes much more efficient so it saves time and cost for the businesses involved sustainability is really another big part of uh, uh, the initiatives for the next level of smart cities uh, but it's the more sustainable uh, by utilizing the new technologies and that includes not only uh, you know the the um, the new energies uh, itself but are more important as uh, on the uh, the storage energy developing as a smart city is really a journey right it's a journey as your technology changes and you harness new technologies uh, and it's a journey for society because as society takes to smart technology they are ready for higher levels of new technology to be introduced